Buy that all up quick. So, hello, this is Angel, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. We are basically going to pick up exactly where we left off. Alright. Oh, suddenly go to here real quick. No, 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 not yet. Not yet. Before we do that, we are going to go to Hollow Bastion. And then, the Winked Melody. And then, the end of the world. In that order. And only then should we go to the Seeker of Darkness. Ooh. And by the looks of it, this is basically the uh, the end of Kingdom Hearts 1. Yep. Alright, let's just go through it. Oh, hey, Beast. Oh, yeah, I forgot Beast was in this. and not focusing Invincible. Ah. All right. Up near the end again. Man, it's got like a lot, lot of different buttons to press. Lot of different, lots of different timing. This is getting challenging. Holy crap! I even got A plus. A measly A plus compared to the A triple plus. Just what I would say. If I don't know. So, uh, huh. I can't remember that. Hey man, I already got that one. Boom! 
Nice, nice. Woo! Nice. I don't want to scream because because of my roommates. But man, a triple plus again. Okay, work your melody. Let's see what you got. Yeah, let's see what you got, boy. Ooh. The squirmy evil. Good up our ratings. All the ground enemies. Hmm. Alright, let's do this. there. Ah! No! I was following the beats of the of the whole thing. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho. Okay, two things by the way. First off, at least I passed, and secondly, I still got eight triple plus. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Interesting, interesting. Oh, I think that one was from the uh, the, the first Kingdom Hearts game. The, uh, the, the cover and everything. Alright, you see the clips. You see the movie. With his heart clouded by darkness, Riku stood in Sora's way. As they fought, Sora realized that his power came from his friends, not his weapon. When Sora found out that my heart had been inside him all alone, he saved me without sparing a thought for what might happen to him. Now it was my time to save him. As I wished for that strength, something incredible happened. Hoping that we would never be separated again, I gave Sora my lucky charm. Nice, cleared. Now we move on to the end of the world. Ah, oh, the beautiful song. I think the the end of the world was basically the the best final world of all the Kingdom Hearts games. I mean, I haven't played all Kingdom Hearts games yet, but still. 
even uh, even better than uh, Voskaya Akala, you know, the Stairway to the Heaven, Kingdom Hearts 3. I think this one's a lot better. It's just like that the special end part of it. And then you have this. <laughs> okay, just enough me lobbing around. I don't want I don't want the uh, the recording to go on for too long, so. Alright, let's get on to it. Ah, the background. And some kind of like a, a dark story behind it. Inside the portal. about that room. Okay, there's this one room where they had the little, little chambers on the other side, like some kind of like a machine in it. And at first, when I first saw it, like when it first came out, it was basically unplanned. Like the whole time, it was unplanned. And to me, it's like one day, the very, like very confusing at first. But like up until this moment, like we got only theorize of what that lead to. And I think in this game, in this game, that might explain the, the machine that we, uh, that we saw. Alright. Yeah, that machine right there, on the, uh, my, my, the left. You guys saw that, right? Oh my god.
That machine on the on the left, right there. That's that's exactly what I was talking about. Oh, like I said, at first it just straight up out of nowhere. There's no story behind it. And I guess just like with the first Final Fantasy Freddy's game, it was completely unplanned. Yeah, the lore and everything. And I'm so glad that like after many games and perhaps even a show might be uh, possibly a show in the future of Kingdom Hearts that we start to get like some uh, a great a, a huge lore into it and I'm, I really like it just the juicy lore Oh Cinderella Alright, now we're finally getting on to the Seeker of Darkness. Ooh, it's a boss battle. Boss battle music stage. Let's go over how boss battle work. Okay, in the boss battle music stage, you face up against boss characters in a rhythmic battle. Okay, okay, so like same as usual. Oh, similar to like the the just similar to like the oh, okay, it's all just like a straight line, instead of just like um n n never mind. I think at the same time. Okay, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Interesting. As it release, okay, just like immediately switch onto it. Unleash special attacks to dodge it to hit main towers dark ores as you can. Ooh, interesting. Well, let's let's see. Perhaps I should do I have a chance to equip my items. Okay. Get to play safe. Oh! Whoa! I can't see. I hope it's awesome for you guys. All I gotta do is just focus on doing the perfect timing. Holy crap! I'm not even looking at it, but still. I don't want to bellow out. 
But yeah, holy crap, that's so cool. The boss battle is so cool. Oh, I gotta see it for myself. It's just like, it's like a movie or something. Ah. Another film. Oh, cool. The light emanating from Kingdom Hearts destroyed Ansem, the strongest darkness Sora faced. But the darkness behind the door still threatened to burst out at any moment. With Riku and Nikki on the inside and Sora on the outside, they sealed Kingdom Hearts from both sides. And so, Sora and his two friends continued on their journey. That was beautiful. Hey, team days! These three? Huh. Changing teams. Okay, did not affect their score. And with that, we unlock Kingdom Hearts one and a half. The um uh, the three hundred no wait, not that one. Um The Chain of Memories. That's the uh, one and a half. So yeah. Um, that's it for now, really. Next episode, we're gonna be doing the uh, the Castle Oblivion, and hopefully, uh, we might get to all of that one, all of those, all the other three, before the end of the next one. Cause, like I said, I don't want to go out for too long. And for the next episode, of course, the episode after that one, we're gonna be doing Kingdom Hearts Two. I think it's Kingdom Hearts Two. Or is it like 200, 300, no, um, or is it Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days? This part right here. Oh, all right. We'll just see. Ah! That's so cool! We found like a new clip or something. Aww. Look at them three. I'm poor Xion. I'm quite disappointed myself that I didn't cry after the reunion after the reunion in Kingdom Hearts 3. Like I know what happened to Xion. I know what happened to them. Oh. Oh my god. Like you think I would be like so emotionally like broken down. But no, I'm just like, oh, It's okay. It's okay. You guys are together again. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna leave it right here. So like I said, next episode. We're gonna be doing Kingdom Hearts Melody. No, no, um, the Chain of Memories. The Melody of Memory version. <laughs> because it's basically, uh, oh man. Because this game is basically like a repeat of all the other games, but in the, uh, the music version. So yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. The boss battle is freaking cool, man. The boss battle is freaking cool. So yeah, if you guys want to support my channel, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get more videos like this. But, if you don't want to, then you don't have to, because that's what the channel's all about. The choices that we make. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video!